Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to week number five of Pika. Uh, this time around, we're facing Jonathan. Jonathan currently sitting 4 0. Oh, very pretty. We're gonna take him down, right? Uh, that's that's the idea. Um, so, we already killed Matt, which is a giant in this league. Um, spoiler, he lost again this week. Hmm, something going on there. Hmm, something very bob and fishy. So, um, we, uh, this is Jonathan's team, he has a Mega Glilly, which gives him so much extra points for his free picks, uh, Latios, Nihilego, Cabellion, Greninja with Torrent, Decidueye, Pukamuku, Landers, Therian, Glavial, Swell, and Embor. Um, I have nothing for Embor, apart from this thing, with, which is a, uh, Wakan Barry Jellison. So. Uh, Jellison is basically there for Embor. Uh, if it's not necessary for Embor, then I will probably throw it in front of Mega Glalie. Uh, well, this is also there to take on Mega Glalie. Uh, and, well, if Embor isn't there, then I will also probably chuck it in front of other things. I have speed investment on this because I want to be able to taunt the Fable. So that's why we have 60 speed. Mm. So next off, we have... Uh, Tangrove. Tangrove is there to take on the Cabalion. Tangrove is there to take on Decidueye. Tangrove is there to take on Pukumuku. Uh, Tangrove is there to take on Landorus Therian. Um, since we allowed all his emus, Landorus Therian is a humongous threat versus my Tangrove with the Z, well, with the Flaminium Z Fly, aka Supersonic Sky Strike. That's why I have a Koba Barrier on this thing. So I'm running an awful lot of berries this week, right? So I, I, I'm running three berries. Um, next off, we have Salt Vest Muck. Uh, I need that thing to be maxed up. Uh, it's the only thing that potentially can take on Greninja. It, it can trap the Latios. It takes on Nihiligo to a reasonable degree, but Jirashi also takes on Nihiligo, as we'll see later. Uh, uh, it takes on Cliff Fable, and it also specs Swallow. So. Next off, we have Spadef Jirachi. I really want rocks against this guy. Um, just Spadef Jirachi is a good way to do that. Um, it's also a good switch into Nihiligo. It's a good switch into Latios. Uh, and then, well, Muck is basically there mainly for Greninja. So, I can U-turn now. I can keep momentum. Uh, I can Iron High. I can Ice Punch the income, potential incoming Landris. Um So, the, all, all of these nice things are happening out here, right? So, this, this, yeah. Uh, and I have a Shuka Barry, which is there for Earthquake on Mega Glalie, Earthquake on Latios. Um, so those cannot to hit KO me with that. Uh, so, next up, we have a Choice Bandit, Infernape, with the Mock Punch, with the Ghost Combat, with the Flare Blizzard, with the user. Mock Punch is there for a Greninja, for Nihiligo, uh, and then all the other things are straight up not switch ins. Uh, Bandit, Flare Blitz, Lando can uh, take. Two, but I don't think he could take two after Rock. So, Infernape out here being a very important, such as Solid Wall Raker against his team, uh, and I haven't brought the band set yet. Uh, one problem being, I don't want to speed everything, uh, and that's what Togekiss is for. So, Air Slash plus Dazzling Gleam hit everything on his team, right? Apart from uh, this guy. Damn it, where are you? Okay. Nope, doesn't work like that, unfortunately. Uh, apart from this guy, Nihiligo. Uh, we don't speed, uh, we don't take out Nihiligo, and that's why Psyshock is there, uh, just to catch him with his pants down and take out the Nihiligo. So, one more time, Jellison for Embor, Tangro for, well, all the other physical walls, including Lander, Sterian. Muck is a Salt Fist, a user as a Trapper, as the secondary check against Nihiligo. Jirachi there as my Stealth Rock Setter uh, takes on Mega Glalie, Latios, Nihiligo. Basically all his top tier threats apart from Lander's Therian, which I have Ice Punch for. Infernape and Togekiss as my main breakers. Um, so that's gonna be it. And now we are going to jump into this game. Uh, so these are the mods that you ended up bringing. There's my face once again, still wearing the same sweater because I'm doing all this straight in a row. Um, because I'm tired of procrastination. 
Um, procrastination might also be tired of me. So, we're on a good side. Um, he brought a few Kamuku, which I figure, you know what, uh, yeah, maybe as a check for Infernip or something. I don't know why he brought it. I didn't actually prep for Pukamuku because, well, I've seen Nick use it on the ladder and I was not impressed in the slightest. That was the only experience of how Pukamuku was for. Mm. So, here we go. I lead with Jirachi as he leads with Nihelago. So I figure, you know what, we're just going to exchange rocks here. I don't necessarily care. Um, so, I'm just going to turn off the background music because that's really annoying. Uh, but, it go, goes into Jirachi, I figure, you know what, maybe he wants to say I'm just going to go for safe Iron Head right there. Uh, and now I go into my dedicated switch in, which is Jellicent. Um, I here predict a switch, because he's not going to stay in with his Duh. Uh, but unfortunately he does, and he well charges me, and uh, I'm just going to recover, because otherwise I don't necessarily have anything to take on this thing. Does he get the exact same rule, then he takes me out right here, and which is exactly what happens. So that that's just painful. So Embor, Jellison dies to what it was, you know, supposed to wall. Um, in comes Clefable. Uh, I probably should have clicked the Flare Blitz right there. Had I gone a crit, then Clefable would have been taken out. Uh, but he, go, he gets the leftovers back, and uh, I'm just going to go to Muck, which is my dedicated switch into this guy that's really annoying music um but he decides to throw up a wish and then it protects and then i'm just gonna go to the next song because that one's really annoying but um so all of these nice things happening out here i have switch ends for everything i can kill all sorts of things i killed the embort with a knockoff which i didn't expect so Everything nice happening right now. So he goes into Pukamugu, I go into Tangrove, and here he Z Power and he uses Z Purify, and I'm like, wait, what? Wait, what? What the fuck does that do? So I toxic it, and I'm like, okay, well, fine. And it gets Baton Pass. I didn't know Pukamugu got Baton Pass. No, because I'm an idiot. And he passes that into Lando, and now Lando is at plus one everything, and I'm going to lose. So, here. I switch out because I was afraid of Flaminian Z Landris. He just used the Z move, Socrates. I lost my shit. I lost my composure. At this point, I lost everything I had. So I go into Jirachi, scouting for the Flaminian Z, and he sets up a sword dance. So Jirachi dies despite having its Shuka Berry right there. Um, and I go back into Tangrove. And he goes just for a regular fly because, well, yeah, that makes sense. I gone for um, the toxic turn one on Swords Dance and gone for a Giga Drain in turn two, and then life would have been much, much crazier. Unfortunately, that's not what happens. Um, so, here I think I try being cheeky, so I go into Togekiss. Uh, we're not gonna find out whether Togekiss with the Scarf would have actually been faster than this fog because I mess up. Because he goes for Stone Edge. Um, at this point, Landorus just wins, really. Uh, Tango dies to yet another Stone Edge, even to a plus 3 Earthquake. Uh, so, there, there we go. Uh, Muck dies to the Earthquake, and Infernape dies to the Earthquake. So, all these unfortunate things are happening right now, uh, which makes us currently sitting at 3 and 2. We got swept, ladies and gentlemen, by a Pukamuku. So, with that being said, once again, we are getting desperate for wins, because 3 and 2 doesn't look like a playoff record. So we have to step up our game in week number 6 and 7. And then as soon as we've done those, we have finally caught up to where we are sitting right now. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys all in the next one.